Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I have another Nintendo Switch related unboxing video for you. This is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD Joy-Con unboxing. That's right, we have brand new Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and if you're new to the channel, I collect all of the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers. And of course I had to get these. I, I mean, even if I didn't collect all of them, I would still definitely pick these up because these are special edition Joy-Cons and they look really, really cool. They're for Skyward Sword HD, which I've played some of Skyward Sword on Wii. I did own the game on Wii. I do own the game on Wii. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I just I love the designs on these. I'm excited to, uh, you know, replay the game on Switch and, and hopefully play more of it than I did on, on Wii. But uh, here they are. Quick refresher, by the way. This is not the first time that Nintendo has released special Zelda-themed controllers, including actually for Skyward Sword itself. When Skyward Sword released on Wii, they had the uh, 25th Anniversary Edition. So this is what I actually uh, owned from, from that time. And this actually has a Legend of Zelda Symphony Orchestra CD in it, along with the actual uh, game disc right there. So this is a really, really cool um, collector's item, but they actually did have, check this out, a gold Wii Remote, uh, which is really, really cool. Let's, let's take this thing off of that and just kind of really, you know, take a look at the controller itself and appreciate it in its full glory. Um, this was a really, really cool controller. This had the, the Wii Motion Plus built in, and they had that little um, logo and everything uh, right on the top. That's really the only like Zelda item on here, but the gold color just looked awesome. And then actually through Club Nintendo, uh, you could get gold Joy-Cons, or not Joy-Cons, sorry, Nunchuck uh, controllers. Um, so this is not specifically Zelda themed, but obviously goes well together. So this was a really, really cool set, especially the Wii Remote. I, I really, really did enjoy it. So uh, on the one hand, it would have been nice to have gold Joy-Con controllers um, because like, you know, just to kind of maybe continue the Skyward Sword theme, I think that would have been fun. I actually do have custom gold controllers from uh, Colorware, I believe. So I guess I can pretend like these are my uh, uh, gold Joy-Cons to continue, continue the tradition since there are no official ones at this time. But e even though they didn't release gold ones, you know what? I'm fine with that because I think the designs on these actually look really, really cool regardless. So let's take away the old stuff, focus on the new. Here's the packaging, great looking packaging as well. Uh, and, and what the packaging really highlights is that the Joy-Con are designed after two things. So you have uh, the left Joy-Con designed after the, the, the Master Shield, and then the right Joy-Con is designed after the Master Sword. Um, really, really cool stuff. I mean, just the way they did that. So you can see on the side what the Joy-Con looked like with the Joy-Con strap, and then there you go right there, and then on the back as well. So these also just continue the tradition where I feel like most... Joy-Con controllers are two different colors. Nintendo rarely releases a set of both the same colors. They did early on. Um, sorry, let me grab my unboxing knife real quick. They did early on, but it's been a while since they've done that. Now, of course, to open up my Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons, I, I need my Legend of Zelda unboxing knife. So, let's do that. Okay, gotta be very careful, of course. Safety first. All right. So we're going to do a, a little unboxing, and I'm going to mix and match a few of the Joy-Cons. It's gotten to the point now where there's just so many Joy-Cons, I cannot possibly show every possible combination with a Nintendo Switch. It's just not feasible. Um, but of course, I'm going to mix and match and show you a, a, a decent amount. Um, and by the way, I know... There's a Nintendo Switch OLED model that was announced, and uh, yes, I do have it pre-ordered. Um, I have the white one pre-ordered, and then my wife, Maheen, has the neon red and blue one pre-ordered. So, I'll be opening up both on the channel. So, of course, make sure you're subscribed for all of that fun stuff. Um, oh, these are so cool. Let's just get them all out of the, the packaging, and then we'll, we'll take a look at them all at once. Oh, that's really nice. And the Joy-Con straps, of course, as well. 
lots of great, great stuff here. So here are the Joy-Con controllers. Check that out. So really, really neat. So nothing on the back, by the way, um, which is fine. But there you go, really, really cool design. So purple Joy-Con on the right, blue Joy-Con on the left. So let's take a look at this, this blue Joy-Con here. Of course, the buttons are gonna be themed the same color, which is nice. Blue is my favorite color, by the way. And this is a really nice looking blue. Uh, I do like it. So you have this kind of gold ring around the sides, which is cool. Nice little gold design there. It really like, I don't know, it makes it look so different and fun because it's like, I mean, obviously you still have the same four buttons, but it makes it look like there's more. It's just just because of the designs in the middle of the buttons. Um, and then they have the logo there in red, which looks really, really nice. And then the other Joy-Con here, of course your SL and SR buttons are purple. You have gold around the side, although different design. Really nice, and I love the reflectiveness of it, how nice and shiny it is. The same design there that they have across the D-pad, except now on the A, B, X, Y buttons. Uh, and then, it's it's a little more faint. It's not really a certain color, but it's like this little uh, um, piece here that shines in the light. That is the Triforce. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, this is a really, really nice looking design overall. And you do have the Joy-Con strap. So, oh, this is interesting actually. I did not realize that these are two different colors. I thought at first glance that they're the same, but they're actually not. Um, in fact, looking at the box, I guess it is slightly different too. So the, okay. So um, I believe the, the kinda, Whiter one is with the purple um, and then this slightly Off-white color I guess really is is with the blue um, Now the bottom part here the actual strap looks to be the same um, but Let's attach this on Make sure it's unlocked Slide it in and lock it and then on the other side Check that out. That's pretty cool. I will say, I don't know if I'm a fan of the slightly different colors. I'm sure it's probably to make it more accurate. You know, I guess like um, the color of the shield versus, you know, something else on the sword. Just like, I I'm sure they probably did it to make it match more accurately something, but I kind of don't like that they're slightly different because I think the, I think my issue is they're they're close in color and when it's real close in color your eyes just make you want them to be the same if if they're different enough it's fine but these are just kind of close that it, it's just off I actually prefer this one more than this at least in this combination I think the white is just too bright in comparison in my opinion. Um, you know, that's just my quick my quick thought. What if, for funsies, let's actually swap um, the straps here and see what happens. Because it is all interchangeable, of course, right? You know what? This one's, this is actually not as bad of a combination. I, I think I still prefer uh, the off-white color uh, in, in this Joy-Con set, but the white works better with the blue, I think, than the other way around. Um, but for accuracy's sake, the white is with the purple. It's a little easier to see on this side of the picture. You can really tell which is which. Um, you know, but it is what it is. I How often do I use Joy-Con straps? Rarely ever, if I'm being honest. So, um, just something interesting there. Now, um, Actually, while we're on the subject of Joy-Con straps, uh, I do also have the, the Animal Crossing ones, which these ones, for comparison, are a little bit different shade. I'll just pick one of these. So this is the Animal Crossing one. This is the one that goes with the blue Joy-Con. And then this is the white that goes with the purple Joy-Con. It, it's a little hard to see on my camera, but they are three different shades. So I guess if you can really get down to the exact shade of white or off-white, I guess, that you would really want. Um, so that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, and I guess for, for funsies, let's just attach these real quick. 
See, when, it, when it's uniform, at least these two side collars, I think that looks better, in my opinion. But, it is what it is. Okay. Um, of course, for funsies, you can attach black Joy-Con straps um, as well. So, you know, in case you're wondering what that looks like, that actually looks really nice. I actually really like that. I think the black just goes so well with it. And on the other side here, yeah, the, the black just goes with all the Joy-Cons, of course. It just, it just matches because of the buttons. And because we're talking blue, I have the neon blue Joy-Con strap uh, for comparison. And then I have the blue that came with the Mario red and blue switch, which I'll just pop under the purple and then we'll swap. Great color combinations here. There, I have a bunch of colored Joy-Con straps that you can really mix and match and have some fun with. So I certainly appreciate that. Well, that's a fun color combo. And there you go. So lots of fun to be had with the Joy-Con straps. Unlock that. Unlock. All right. So now that that's out of the way, what do these look like on the actual Nintendo Switch? Well, I have my Nintendo Switch right here. Um, and I am actually rocking the uh, the Peely uh, Joy-Con right now, along with the, the yellow one that came in the Fortnite Wildcat Switch bundle. So basically an all yellow, all Peely <laughs> Nintendo Switch right now. But we're gonna pop those controllers off and let's get us these ones here. Oh, I didn't see a color purple on the right there. Let's see, is there a blue popping on the left? No, interesting. So no colors pop in on the sides, but when you go into the controller menu, you do have the blue and purple, which looks nice. So, here it is. This is the Nintendo Switch with the Joy-Cons attached, and this actually looks really, really nice. I really like this. Um, I mean, blue is my favorite color. Like I said, purple is a great color uh, to have. And this just is such a cool combination. And I think the, the thing about it, we've seen this with certain uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons in the past. And I don't know why it's still being really blurry right now when I'm trying to have it focus. There we go. Um, we've seen this with certain ones, like the, like the Super Smash Brothers edition ones, which I have here, where like one Joy-Con has a lot of design and the other one doesn't. Um... I'm glad in this case, both have pretty much equal amounts of design with the gold around the analog sticks and then around the buttons and stuff. The only slightly different one, you know, factor is the fact that this red is very visible. And here, depending on the light, you may not even know there's anything on the side there. But I'm not as concerned with that, you know, like really the buttons and stuff, this is gonna be what's mostly noticeable and I think that looks really, really nice um, as is. So I really like this color combination. I think this, suits the Nintendo Switch very, very well. Um, now, like I said, why is this thing not focusing? Let's move this box out of the way just to get it to have one specific thing to focus on here. Uh, we have some other color combinations to play around with, right? So let's let's start with the, uh, the purple here. Um, so I'm gonna take this blue Joy-Con out and we do actually have uh, a couple things. Well, there, there's one that was a purple and orange Joy-Con set. So this is this is a very different shade of purple. Um, and I don't think this matches at all, as you can see. I mean, this is this is a, a, a hugely different shade of purple, and it just doesn't fit there. But then there's also one that, um, I forget what color they called it, maybe just blue or something, but it came, <coughs> excuse me, it was, <coughs> excuse me, it was blue and neon yellow. And this actually is a much closer in tone to this purple, I feel like. And this is actually not too bad. Um, I kind of, you know, I kind of like this. I kind of think it, it works well here. Now, speaking of blue, I should bring in all of the different blue Joy-Cons we have. So of course we have our Skyward Sword one. We have this this blue one. We also have the, the neon blue, right? That, that was launch edition. We have the, the Fortnite blue that came with the Peely Joy-Cons. And we have 
the Dragon Quest Blue. Oh, and actually we also have, now unfortunately this one's a right Joy-Con, not left Joy-Con like all the rest of these, but the one that came with Animal Crossing here. So, lying this all out here, I mean, you can kind of get a, a, <laughs> a good sense of the shades of blue. And blue being my favorite color, I love that blue is right now the one that I think has the most color variations of Joy-Cons. Um, I mean, just look at that, right? Like that is really, really nice. Um, I, I think that's just such a, a cool range of blue. So you have the, the very lightest end, the Animal Crossing ones. You have the neon blue at launch. Um, you have my personal favorite, which is the Fortnite ones. I just, I love the shade of blue. It's just such a nice uh, blue. You have the Fortnite logo right there. It's kind of a lighter color, but it looks great. Dragon Quest ones also look great. The Skyward Sword ones are st where it starts to get a little purplish, but it's still really nice. And I think the gold complements that color well. And then you have like the blue ones, which are almost kind of purplish. Uh, I could bring in the purple purple, but that's like a huge, huge jump there, you know. Um, but you get the idea. Like, I, I like where where this is going. This is a really, really cool range of colors. Um, so I can't, unfortunately, do color combinations of these blue, uh, at least some of them, on the Switch, because not all of these have right Joy-Cons. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with this because it's too bright, I think. Um, this one, there's no right Joy-Con, so we're just putting that away. The other three, though, we do have right Joy-Cons for. So, let me start with the Dragon Quest one. Okay. Here it is right here. So you have Legend of Zelda blue on the left, Dragon Quest blue on the right. Um, and this one, this is a pretty cool combination. Um, I, I, I kind of like this color combo as well. You have like the silver on this one here, um, but this is actually a nice contrast. Now this actually has a design on the back, um, whereas the Zelda ones don't, but that's actually really, really cool. All right, now what about the Fortnite ones, right? Here's bringing, here's bringing the Fortnite one, has the battle bus. Doesn't work quite as well because I think the difference is starting to showcase even more. It's a bit of a brighter blue um, But the back actually is not as bad um, Just having the solid colors. I think you know kind of works well And oh neon blue that's what we're gonna do Yeah, that's just that's too different there. I Don't think that works quite as well uh, If you want some more solid colors you know, I would suggest maybe like the actual, just the red ones, um, which which are not bad. I think this this is actually really nice, but the it's going to stick out a bit because this has a design and this doesn't, you know. Um, but otherwise, I think the red and blue itself actually looks nice there. That's a that's a good complementing color. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to really try. I feel like that covers most of it, you know. The only other Joy-Cons that I feel like are somewhat complementary are like the Monster Hunter ones because these actually do have stuff around the analog stick as well and then a design at the bottom. Um, no design at the buttons, but still, this actually kind of works um, in, you know, in terms of the way that it's designed. Um, so this is actually not a bad color combination. And if you want to try the opposite side, I can bring in this one and then the purple. Zelda Joy-Con right here, which again looks pretty good. The the gold I think really sells the combination of the two Joy-Cons there. So I do appreciate that. Um, other than that, the only other thing I can say is I do have custom Zelda Joy-Con controllers from uh, Controller Chaos. So, just for the heck of it, since we're talking Zelda, these are the custom ones from Controller Chaos right here. They're kind of green and gold. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, it's it's okay. I don't know if the color works super well. The gold, obviously, you know, makes it kind of work together a little bit, but still not, not super great of a color combo. But what about the other side? Right? What about blue and gold, or green? So we'll put in green on this side. Blue here. That's better, but still, still not great. 
as a combo. I mean, these Joy-Cons are really not meant to, you know, really... Uh, this this is what it's supposed to look like all together. It's supposed to really match each other versus other Joy-Cons. Um, so, I mean, those are really some of the main combinations that you can do, but that's not all, um, because there's actually also the, the red Nintendo Switch, which I thought I had and I forgot to grab, so let me go get that real quick. All right, I've gotten the red Nintendo Switch. This is the Mario uh, red and blue Switch. It's red with blue Joy-Con straps and Joy-Con grip, but here it is right here. So what if you have this, this Nintendo Switch and you wanna put the Zelda Joy-Cons on this? Well, here's what it looks like. Um, I, it's not great. Um, I, the thing about this Switch, I said it before, uh, it's a cool concept. I like the color, it's cool. But it makes it so that many Joy-Con combinations just don't work as well. Because uh, you have the red border here, and then the colors just don't match as well. That's why I don't use this as my main Switch. This is just a collector's item that I got. Um... I just use the regular one as my main, just because the color combinations just don't work as well. It's possible, you can do it, there's nothing wrong with it, it just doesn't fit as well. I mean, although I will say the red here and this red, you know, it's not like it's unprecedented in having the two red there, but it just, it's a little odd for me, I guess is what I'll say. But there you have that, um, so I'll put that switch to the side, but this switch does come with a blue Joy-Con grip. So what if we put these in the blue Joy-Con grip? And uh, that's not half bad, it's all right. Very, very blue heavy, you know, but uh, it's not, that's not too bad, right? Uh, and then of course we have the, the regular Joy-Con grip, so let's try that instead. And uh, you know what? I can already see it here. I think this works better. I think the blue is just, it's too much blue to work with these Zelda Joy-Cons. Whereas this, the focus is still on the Joy-Cons. The black doesn't take away from that. It blends in with the buttons and things, so the colors really pop a bit more on the Joy-Con grip. So if you use the Joy-Con grip, I, I feel like anything from that Mario Switch, the red and blue Switch, is just not gonna work. I think just having a regular Switch is probably better for this color combination. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for these Joy-Con controllers. So let me know, <coughs> excuse me, in the comment section below what you thought about these as well. Um, I think these are some of the best Joy-Con controllers that they have ever released. I think these are really, really cool designs. And I am very happy that they released them as individual Joy-Cons and not with an entire Switch. So I don't have to buy yet another Nintendo Switch because I already have the Switch OLED models on pre-order anyway. So I'm already buying a few Switches this year. So uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed because I'll show you some color combinations on the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED model when that releases on October 8th this year. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, take care and I will see you later.